Hello everyone, it's time to build the second module in the 909 series, the snare drum. But first a very quick recap of the anatomy of the acoustic snare drum. It consists of a batter head at the top and a resonant head at the bottom. And as the name suggests, the batter head is where you hit and the resonant head just follows along. At the bottom of the drum there is also a snare assembly, which resonates producing the rattling noise characteristic to the snare drum. If we start by looking at the snare drum in the TR909 block diagram and compare it to our old friend the kick drum, it seems way more complex. But there are actually a lot of things that are identical or at least very similar to what we have learned so far from the design of the kick. First of all we have the trigger and accent inputs, which is basically the same circuit as for the bass drum. Next we have the noise path, starting with the noise generator and then first fed through a low pass filter and then a high pass filter. Note that there are two VCAs, so it's possible to control how much of the low frequency noise that is leaking through. And the tone knob is used to control this. The snappy knob controls the total level of the noise path. Next we have two triangle wave VCOs that are slightly detuned. The outputs are wave shaped into a more sinusoidal shape and they are also routed through VCAs to the output buffer stage. I will come back to how the VCOs are implemented later in this video. So, in total this gives us two oscillators and three envelope generators to synthesize the top and bottom heads. And our noise generator controlled by two envelope generators will generate the rattling noise of the snares. I think it's time to have a look at the details in the schematic diagram. On the first page we see the noise path starting with the noise module. The noise module is actually a separate PCB that piggybacks to the main PCB of the snare module. Next we have the low pass filter and the high pass filter with their respective VCAs for blending the noise. I have made provisions for two options here. One is the through hole part ZTX1051A and the other is the MMBT5089L which is an SMT part. They sound a little bit different. The first one is the 5089. And the second one is the 1051. Okay, back to the schematic again. The noise path ends with a snappy noise level control and the output buffer. On the second page we have the trig and accent inputs and a trig button to manually trigger the snare drum. The third page covers the two VCOs and the CV generator. The trig signal resets the integrator and also generates a pulse that triggers the envelope of the CV generator, which feeds the voltage supply rails of the hex inverter. The hex inverter is placed in the charge-discharge path of the capacitor in the VCO integrator, and it acts as a voltage controlled resistor. This is why it's so important that the hex inverter is of the unbuffered type. On the last page we have the wave shaper that turns the triangle waveform into a sine wave, or at least something a little bit smoother. We also have an envelope generator and a VCA for each oscillator. But I think that's enough for today. Thank you for watching and in the next episode I will build this module and we will listen to it. Take care and I see you soon again.